One. The most accurate marking knife ever. Isn't that pretty? And now we need to make one more out of that piece. That piece. Oh wait, I gotta break in here for a moment. This is a clock kit from clockkits.com. I've done a few videos with them in the past. They sent me this one to make the kit and it's a lot of fun to play with. And if you would like to get it, there's actually a discount code to it down below so you can try this as well, as well as I'll have plans available for it. But uh, let's get back to this build. Start with this angle and see what we get. Don't know what this angle is. Don't really care. Just gonna find out. We got one. Transfer it to the other. I pinch these all together in one hand. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> the answer is no. <laughs> all right, so any more off that side. away from the camera. The point is 10 and 7 eighths. Point to point. So, glue to that and put in a temporary clamp. That's actually what I want. A piece of tape on each side. So work it into the side. Perfect. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for, so.
10 and 7 sixteenths. Right there. So then draw one line for the point. There. There's the pattern. So on all of these, it should stick out just a little bit past. What is left inside of this mess? that point. Weird angle all the way down. The all-seeing eye-ish thing. Yeah, it's a better fit. So, now that we have that on there, I kind of like that. There's the glass. Now we got to make a bottom room for all the glass to fit into. Okay. So, there's the angle I want. Of all the fuzzes. We're at ten and just a hair over a half. I like that. Ten and ooh, three eighths. Really close. That is, they should all fit in and they should all tip against each other and then I can put the top on. And 
all these corners should match up with those corners. I like it. Okay, so now the question. I designed it all. I figured it all out. I mathematically, is it tall enough? Is it tall enough? Oh, just barely. Look at that. Okay, four cinching it down. Always do an adjustment. One more, one more. There we go. respectable. And that is twice the amount that I need taken off of all four sides. Just over five eighths. That's the depth I want right there. A little bit more. And another pass or two. I snapped the tip off the screwdriver. Cut it right there. And 
we got that. There's that. Now, the clock itself, make sure it's centered. Make sure it's away from the glass. Don't need much, just a little bit. Is it all stick in there? Stink. There it goes. There we go. See what we got. Oh, nice. No! That's what I'm looking for.
see if we can do that. One click. That's all we're going to do. And one more. Now we see if it's enough. Hey! Ta da! Window cleaner, not just for sharpening tools. So there you have it. Uh, this one was a lot of fun. It was a chance for me to experiment and try something new. Now, if you really want to see more detail on this build, because I know I brushed through it on this video, uh, I have a whole second channel where I do a how-to version of the video where I actually talk through it and talk why I'm doing what I'm doing and what I'm actually thinking. On top of that, uh, this clock kit, uh, clockkits.com is actually offering 15% off. There is a link to that down below where you can get this one as well. And if you want, I have plans available on my website so you can follow along with that as well. This was one that really tried me and I, I'm trying to experiment and play with new things and it's a great chance to play with angles and just do something different and fun. Stretch your skills out and don't be afraid to make mistakes. You're going to make mistakes, but oh well, that's the part of it. This is something that's enjoyable to play with. So I hope you like that. If you have any thoughts or ideas, things that I should do better, let me know that. I do read through all the comments down below and I answer as many as I can get back to. Also, if you hit like, comment, share, subscribe, that really helps out the channel as well. So thank you for that. And, oh, look at all those people over there scrolling on the side. They are patrons on Patreon. As well as I want to say a huge thank you to all the members on the channel. Click that little join button. Without you guys, this channel wouldn't exist. So thank you for that. If you'd like to find out more, there's links to Patreon down below. Or click the little join button and become a member here. And until next time, have a wonderful day. Now where's my punch card? I need to end this video and clock out of here.